Okay, got a request for a lizard. This is a request from Katie, and she has requested that this lizard be named Kelly. So, introducing Kelly. Dun, 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 dun. So, we are going to get started with Kelly, the lizard's head. So, you're going to make an oval shape, make it kind of like crooked. See how it's kind of sideways? And then on that head, now you're going to make the two circles. So, we have one circle. And then you're going to erase inside that circle. And then you're going to make it looking in. Cute, look at that. Then you're gonna put it shiny and then it's ovals are almost, I mean, it's pupils are looking like, um, like a snake's eye, something like that, see? Actually, I'm gonna make mine a little bit bigger. You see the same thing over here, do an oval. You want to erase inside the oval. Then you're gonna have it looking, it's almost like it's cross-eyed. I might actually put a fly on its mouth. So put an oval in there, and then have the pupil, which is going to be a slit, like a moon on the inside. Okay, cute. And this is going to be its like eyelids. So you're gonna erase in there. And to make it not look mean, because right now it kind of looks like it's angry, but it's not. Give it some, you can give it eyebrows like this. Or if you want to make it a girl, you could give it eyelashes. Look at that, cute. So you have a choice. And then up here, we're gonna put a nose and then it's two slits. So for its mouth, it's gonna be arched in the middle. And then you come up and then give it its smile line. And then come in on this side and then give it its smile line. And I made it have a tongue, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make this tongue Hmm, I'm gonna make it, I think it even, it's gonna be going for a fly. <laughs> I made this one a little bit longer. That one's shorter, but this one I'm making longer. I'm gonna have it going for a fly up here. Why not, you know? And then we're gonna have a little flick in the fly right here. <laughs> Got it. All right, what do we know? Fun facts. Okay, there are more than 6,000 different lizard species. So we're gonna do its back. So from up here, you're gonna make a line and it's gonna be the back. And it's gonna loop around all the way to the tail. One consecutive motion. Do the same thing right here. This is its tummy. So right now it's gonna look like a snake. And we are going to erase right here, this neck part. And we're gonna bring this, it's just gonna come in just a little bit and then have this side is just gonna stop there too, okay? So from this little corner right here, what else do we know? Lizards can live almost anywhere, except where's one place it can't live? Antarctica. Too cold there, not much to live there. Okay, so this is its arm and then I'm gonna put his little one, two, three toes. So you can erase in there. And then I'm gonna make it bold legged and I'm switching this up a little. So we have, this is the other side and we're putting the, I'm putting the toes coming in. I think that looks cuter than that. And now we're gonna do its back feet. We're gonna do its toes, one, two, three, erase. And this is its tummy. It's gonna be connected, jump over and connect, okay? Um, I gave it some character on the tummy and made it look like it has like lines. So it's gonna start with one and don't go all the way in. And you can make as, as many as you want going down. If you wanted to make them go all the way across, you can, it's up to you. Okay, looking great. So you have, let's see, little flies. I made little flies, just made circles. And then his little, the fly wings buzzing around him. Going for some food for Kelly, for her food. As a boy or girl. Kelly, give me a boy or girl's name. All right, so you have a decision to make. So you can make circles on its back, or if you want, you can make any shape you want. I think on this one, I'm gonna put stars, just for fun. Why not, right? Hey, it's my drawing. So 
So I'm gonna do it. What else do we know? Okay, so lizards need sunshine because um, they're cold-blooded creatures to make little baby stars. And when it's cold outside, they get fro freeze, and then when it's warm, they warm up in the sun. So they need that sunshine. Look, isn't that cute? What else do I need? So I'm gonna sharpie it, and then we will um, color it together. Use a big sharpie. Now we're gonna erase Kelly. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna make these stars yellow. What else do we know about them? Uh oh, I love this about lizards. Um Lizards' tails can come off easily. And you think, oh no, there's no tail, but they grow back. And the reason why they do that is so then if somebody, a predator is chasing them and a predator grabs their tail, their tail will detach from them and then they can get away. So it kind of freaks them out. So the predator is like, ooh, I got, I got their tail, I got it. And the tail doesn't stay. And I used to, when I was little, I was in Lake Powell, and I was chasing lizards, wanted to catch one, and I was throwing all these boulders, and I threw a boulder on my toe. Yes, my toenail came off. It wasn't pleasant. So the rest of the trip, I had to wear a plastic bag over my toe so it didn't get infected because we were out in the middle of nowhere land. Okay, so what I did for the eyes, I used, this is a yellow green. So you're gonna do it darker on the top, and as you come down, go lighter, because we're gonna put yellow in there. You can pick any color if you wanna have blue eyes. Um, so now I'm gonna take my yellow and put some yellow in there just to make it look extra cool. Oh, there's my dog. Mm -hmm. I have no idea why she's doing that. And I'm gonna take pink for this tongue. She does this sometimes. What is she here? No idea. And I like to give my, and my dog's name is Toto. Toto, it's okay. It, yeah, it's okay. She just woke up from a nap. So maybe she had a nightmare, I don't know. She's telling me about it. So someday I'm gonna have to draw Toto. Huh, Toto? Huh, should I draw you? Hmm? She's old grandma. Oh, she's grandma. She's grandma. All right, so I need to decide what colors am I gonna use? So what I did, is I use purple, I'm gonna stick with purple. I'm gonna make darker at the top. And then as I'm coming down, to have that ombre fade, I'm just gonna get lighter and lighter. <laughs> what is she doing? I have no idea. She's really an old lady. She's not moving though. Yesterday I gave her a couple fishy crackers and, oh, Cheerios. She was so lazy. I put them right in front of her. She didn't even move. She just kind of leaned over and licked them off the floor. <laughs> she's a crazy old lady. Okay. Oh, look how cute she's looking. Kelly's cute. So if you want to, so I'm gonna take the purple. Oh, now she's leaving. She's gonna go and complain in the rest of the house. So I'm pressing down harder along this, and as I'm coming up, <laughs> I'm gonna get lighter and lighter. Cause then I'm gonna make it go into the other color. Okay, lighter and lighter as it comes up. Wow, I didn't do a very good job here. All right, we'll work on this. So you can keep working it, working it. So for the, the other color I used, this is a fun color. Uh, I used aqua green or aqua. So I'm gonna press harder here. And as I'm gonna get close to this, it's gonna kind of blend into it. So let me show you down here. So I'm just gonna blend. So you can go right over the other color and then go into it. So then it looks like you 
want it to blend, which you do. You can make it as many colors as you want. So, Katie, hope you liked it and hope you have an amazing day. We'll catch you later. See ya. Bye.